top, Mr. Second Down himself. He is their captain clutch right there, Dave Stalla. Dave Stalla providing exactly what he has given the Ticats all season long. A reliable possession receiver, a guy who makes the big plays on second down. You see him go to the turf in front of safety, Ian Logan, to make that grab. CFL Canadian Player of the Week and uh, the measurement. Wow. It will be third down, and that is as close as you can come. Oh, they're saying it's a first down. So it's Dan Goodspeed sold that he, one. I think he did. Looked at the nose of the football for a second there. Murray Clark was signaling third down. It is a first down, Hamilton. Former bomber, Dan Goodspeed. Dan Goodspeed should be a lawyer the way he convinced them. That, that was case. good. Goodspeed and Alex Goche, two key acquisitions. The bookends on that O-line for Hamilton this year. John Williams has a first down. John Williams. That was a good read by Kevin Glenn. First down into Winnipeg territory. Let's go down to the sideline now. Once again, rejoin Sean Churchill. Sean? Thank you very much, Rod. Ike Charlton has missed his second series. His left hamstring has tightened up. Bunch of cramps right now. He's trying to hydrate. Possibly he will return, guys. You wonder a little bit with the flu bug going around everywhere if that may have something to do with the dehydration that Ike Charlton's dealing with down there. Left side, DeAndre Cobb starting to light it up now in this second half. And the last two plays give you a perfect example, perfect illustration of how DeAndre Cobb being successful on the ground will open up some other things for the Ticats. We saw the play action fake to Cobb in the backfield on the previous play. Kevin Glenn pulls it and dumps it to John Williams in the flat for a first down. And now all of a sudden the defense is off balance and creates a little bit more room for Cobb in the run game. Two Mike, things playing off each other. Mike Charlton's back in now. Glenn has time. And over the middle for another first down. Marquay McDaniel. McDaniel continues to be Kevin Glenn's favorite target here today. The Ticat quarterback has spread the ball around effectively to all his receivers. Leading receiver on the field so far. Under five minutes to go, third quarter. Tiger Cats clinging to a one-point lead. Chance to eliminate the Blue Bombers from the playoff. Game next week. Charlton misses DeAndre Cobb. Just gets over the line of scrimmage. The Bomber defense made DeAndre Cobb go a long way to pick up one yard on that play. Appreciate Rodriguez back in the offensive huddle for the Tiger Cats. Once again, he'll be the lone receiver. The short side of the field, the right side of this offensive formation lined up against Javon Johnson. Lands looking there and decides to throw to Rodriguez but overthrows him. That was the play. As Kevin Glenn started to scramble, he and Preche Rodriguez were thinking the same thing. Rodriguez ran his initial in route against Javon Johnson. Looked to bounce it back to the outside as Glenn scrambled. That's when Rodriguez turned it up, but Glenn just let him a little bit too much. Well, had a chance. Pressure on. The young guy again. First CFL game, one for one. From the 33, Ito's kick is up. And so far, so good for Jeremy Ito. It's a four-point Hamilton lead. such a good start for Michael Bishop and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in this third quarter. Only four yards 
They need to get it going in a serious way or they'll be watching the playoffs next week from their couch. Well, three straight two and outs. And Jock Climey talked about this at halftime. The need for the Bombers if they want to compete here to try and level the playing field just in terms of time of possession and give their defense a break. Titus Ryan. Bursting right side. Great tackle from behind by Mark Beswick. We have a penalty marker near the Winnipeg 48-yard line. Beswick, the former bomber. Another long field. On the return, holding. Winnipeg 47. 10-yard penalty. First down. Another long field for Mike Kelly's Blue Bombers. Offensively, lacking some spark, running cold here in this third quarter. Bishop, and again, Darius Bowman. Not on the same page right now with his quarterback. Well, this is the second time we've seen a ball go off Bowman's hand basically because it's come at a time or a place where he wasn't really expecting it. A fake hitch screen here. Bowman starts off looking like he's going to block Joaquin Bradley and then continues upfield. He was open. Just wasn't quite ready for the football when Bishop threw it. Oh, 4 in this second half. Another key second down. Up the gut, pounding the way is Fred Reed. Lost the football, but the whistle had blown. And Winnipeg crowd. A little restless right now. This is a die-hard football base here in Winnipeg that has certainly had a love-hate relationship with their football team this year. Well, they have They've ridden a little bit of a roller coaster themselves from the start of the season through the middle. And this team that's given them a bit of a thrill down the stretch. James again. Bryson James brought down at his 43-yard line. Two and a half minutes left in the third quarter, Hamilton by four. Canada Stadium in Winnipeg at capacity here today. The blue out. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers fighting for their playoff lives. Final game of the regular season, basically a playoff game. They have to win to get in to the postseason and host this same Hamilton Tiger Cats squad a week from today. Long way to go here. 2.13 left in the third quarter. Bombers down by four. Chris Bauman again. Will be a little short of the first down. This play is just a classic example of Kevin Glenn's ability to recognize and react. Recognize what the defense is doing and identify exactly where the ball should, should go quickly. And once again, that's part of the reason why this offensive line hasn't given up many sacks in the last few weeks. Second and one to Cobb. Left side. Let's see what the spot is like. Yeah, if he didn't get it, he's going to be close enough to go for it. We're going to have to measure. Tiger Cats might want to send Dan Goodspeed in again. See if he can work his magic twice in a row. He's inching up. Big number 64 is he's like the supervisor out there on the measure. I'm thinking, you know, he has a potential 
job down the road as an official in the Canadian Football League, and I don't think I'd ever argue with him. <laughs> there he is. Dan, I don't, I don't know if you're going to sell this one. So that's, that's the difference now. Third down here in this third quarter. And Hamilton will not go for it. Just a bit too long of a yard from Marcel Belfort. Now, did you notice how the measurement showed that it was a pretty full yard? When Dan Goodspeed held up his, his hands to the bench, he showed it as about a foot and a half. Yeah. You can't really do that when it's right in front of the bench. Vaughn Johnson, one of the best returners in the game. This season is back. Trying to block it this time, and Ito gets it away. Dylan Barker down there to contain Javon Johnson. Along with the long snapper, Jordan Matichuk. Well, we talked a few minutes ago about how Darius Bowman and Michael Bishop just haven't been in sync today. Every pass to go in the direction of number 12 has been just off the mark, seemingly by inches in terms of timing. You wonder a little bit about the health of Adarius Bowman. He's got that brace on his knee. But another factor, when Bowman had that big game in Hamilton, he played on the short side. This week, he's playing out on the wide side of the field. And everything in his role is a little bit different. Well, finally, a catch made by a Blue Bomber here in this second half. Brock Ralph. in the third quarter. Reed rumbles right side just over the line of scrimmage and Markeith Knowlton drops him so Knowlton's all right after being banged up a little bit late in the second quarter. Getting close to the final play of this third quarter. Not a lot of offense in the second half so far. Bombers offensive struggles perhaps ineptitude would be a better word for their display in the third quarter they still only trail by four oh. unable to hang on again Darius Bowman's struggles continue that one thrown into tight traffic that's the third quarter 20 to 16 and Hamilton 15 minutes away from the W dear PlayStation just got my PS3 so what you got? What do I got? Two words. Montage.